principle of least action is the core principle underlying modern physics. In everything from classical mechanics to electromagnetism to general relativity, the principle of least action explains why physical systems behave the way that they do. To understand it in its simplest form, imagine tossing a baseball up in the air. You throw the ball up at some initial time ti, it rises up to its peak, and then it falls back down until you catch it again at some final time tf. The question is, what trajectory did the ball follow in between? The answer, of course, is a parabola. But how exactly is that one path singled out out of all the conceivable trajectories that could have connected this starting point to this ending point? That's what the principle of least action explains. To each possible path, we assign a number called its action, s. Different paths have different values for the action, and the one that the particle actually follows is the path for which the action is at a minimum, or at least a local extremum. And we can find it in the same way that you would find the minimum of an ordinary function, f of x. The key property is that when you take a tiny step away from that extremal point, the value of the function doesn't change at first order, because the slope of the curve is equal to zero there. In the same way, starting from the extremal trajectory, we can imagine making small variations of it by deforming the shape of the curve by a teeny tiny bit. If the value of the action doesn't change when we do so, then we've indeed found an extremum. And that's the actual trajectory that the particle follows. Delta s equals zero.